the numbers we're looking at, you could build a five-star hotel that would be cheaper than phase three. When federal judge Lance Afric ordered the Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office to go forward with a new mental health wing of the jail, known as Phase 3, the price tag was about $40 million. Now, after the Sheriff's Office exhausted its appeals to block the plan, the loan bidder is estimating a cost closer to $115 million. The fact that we are now three times the amount of the initial projection of this project is really like concerning and alarming. City Council Vice President Helena Moreno put those concerns in a resolution unanimously adopted last week, asking for the court's help in auditing and analyzing the steep cost increase. That we're not being fleeced, that, that, that these are appropriate dollars being spent. But Sheriff Susan Hudson and her legal team went a step further, sending this six-page letter to the judge urging discussion of a different solution. In the letter, Hudson calls the design for Phase 3 outdated as well as inhumane and dangerous. As drawn up, she estimated the cost at more than $2 million per jail cell. The letter from the sheriff to the federal judge looks very much like a Hail Mary, and this order from the judge reveals that. Magistrate Judge Michael North not only ordered Sheriff Hudson to appear in court Wednesday, but stated that he will go over, quote, this court's prior rulings, the consequences for ignoring those rulings, and the court's determination to see through the previous orders. City Council President J.P. Morrell concedes that if the price tag doesn't go lower, other city priorities would be jeopardized. There are a tremendous amount of projects the city is working on we'd probably have to not move forward on. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. Uh, plans for phase three of the jail started under the Landrieu administration when Marlon Guzman was the sheriff with a consent decree laying out most of the major reforms.